Hey everyone, it is Monday, February 20th. It's President's Day and I am off today. Our business is closed today. And today is the first day I'm gonna start doing basically anything to prepare for Go Wild. I'm standing, I'm gonna move out of the way, standing in front of my desk. You can see it's a hot mess and hard to see, but I've got like a whole basket of laundry just sitting in my chair here that I need to put away. Just so much laundry. I need to start figuring out what the heck I'm doing because I leave in less than a week. I leave in, no, I leave in a, in a week, in nine. I need to get it together because I am leaving in just over a week. I am getting there on Wednesday as opposed to Thursday. So I do not have a whole lot of time that I can continue to waste not doing things to prepare for Go Wild. So the first thing I'm going to do is like clean off my desk here because it's stressing me out and I can't plan <laughs> in a space that is causing me anxiety. And I also need to put this laundry away to kind of see what things I have in here that I can pack. I've been reluctant to pack because I feel like the most effective way for me to pack is to just like put everything and start putting everything in the suitcase and we just don't have a lot of space for me to just like have a suitcase out for days on end but it is kind of getting to that point where I feel like I'm just gonna have to do it and either maybe have it sit in our um, living room or maybe my son's room he's got a little bit more room than I do but suffice to say I can't wait to move <laughs> at the end of this year so that kind of a consideration is not one that I have to consider so I'm gonna stop talking now and start Start cleaning up. All right, it is looking better. I've got my wild things here, a bunch of mail that I've barely had time to even process or really look through, but at least my desk is clear enough where I have space to actually do that. And then I've got my Moxie Life, ignore the duster, but I've got my Moxie Life over here and I do need to set up my week, even though it's Monday and it should have been set up before today, we're gonna tackle the things today. All right, so it's been a couple of hours and I cleaned my entire desk, vacuumed my whole bedroom, also cleaned out the vacuum. I deep cleaned the hell out of my bathroom. It was beyond, like the last two weeks have been just really, really just kicking my ass to be completely honest. So finally got that done. I did also like kind of start setting up my lights planner action planner thing and I will show that to you here in a second. So I ordered the half sheet TN version of Bess's memory keeper booklet that she created in the blackout. This is from lights planner action and I'll make sure it's linked in the description. But. I should not have purchased it for a TN. I should have asked her to just leave it unbound and then I could have just punched it, but I didn't think about the idea of punching it until after I had already received my order. So I had no choice but to just punch it. And unfortunately it does mean that it punched into the artwork a little bit, but like very minimally, like you can kind of see here, like it's, it's punched into the lines there, but it's really, it's not that bad. It could be way worse. But yeah, I punched that and I put a cover on it, which this is for half letter discs instead of a half sheet tn so the cover is a little bit longer but it doesn't bother me that much i am thinking about trying to put some other things in here and maybe putting it in a booklet with me to the conference but i'm not quite sure yet but at minimum this is what i'll be bringing with me i'm planning to have my schedule in here and then there are a bunch of different pages in here for note taking so i can memory keep during the sessions and i do have a bunch of stickers and things that i can go ahead and decorate with i I got so much stuff from Chrissy and Designs, it's ridiculous. I have so many sticker sheets from Kristen's Wild Collection and I probably should have gotten them punched. And this is my own fault because I actually can go in Fun fact, if you ever accidentally choose punched or unpunched on your order, as long as you message us in time, we actually can correct it and ask them to change it to whatever style you prefer. So I probably should have changed, like gone into my order and changed it to punched, but I wasn't sure how quickly she was getting through orders and I just never bothered to ask. And so then it just arrived unpunched and I probably should have gotten it punched, but nothing I can do about that now because um, I did also get a binder. So this was the binder that I got. It just has my Instagram. It says Cynthia Plans and 
haven't figured out what the hell I'm putting in here, but it was really cute and I love this design. This like very, very like muted leopard print. Anything with a leopard print, I'm, you, you've sold me. So got that. I also got a door tag and my friend Alexa is going to create like a little vinyl so I can have Cynthia plans on here in case anybody wants to stop by and leave me a note. And then I also got a personalized little like coin pouch and my thought was I can probably like affix this to my lanyard and keep like my key card and just things that I need really close by. And then I also got this acrylic, uh, let's see if it'll show this acrylic. Come on, focus. You want to focus. It says wake me up in Washington, but it's a, a little acrylic pin and I'm planning on putting that on my lanyard as well. So that's all the merch that I got was uh, the booklet from Best from Lights Planner Action and then a bunch of uh, merch from Kristen from Chrissy and Designs. And that was not necessarily intentional, but just also the result of my lack of planning. I've been the worst planner person ever in this whole <laughs> experience because the last couple of weeks have been bananas, hence my not doing plan with me's and things like that lately but I'm hoping once I can kind of get through the hump of the middle of March that like life will slow down just a little bit I'm not sure though so much is changing with my job right now and we'll just we'll have to see what happens but that's what I've accomplished on Monday February 20th ahead of my leaving on March 1st for Go Wild so let's see how I do the rest of the week I did also pull out my luggage my suitcase is just sitting right over there and I managed to film two reels today so I feel like I made a lot of progress and hopefully during the rest of the week I can keep the momentum up and my goal will be to be like as mostly packed as I can possibly be by the end of Sunday of next week but we'll see So this is kind of like a midweek check-in. We are one week out from Wild and I still have a lot to do. I am helping Kristen with her shop summit presentation and speech that goes along with it. And I thought she had 45 minutes for presentation and Q&A. It turns out there's only 30 minutes. So I've already created a deck or at least I started creating a deck yesterday night and it's got 28 slides right now. So we definitely have to call that simply because I really want her to be able to have time for a Q&A. I imagine people will have questions. And, you know, if you assume that it's going to take about a minute to get through each slide, obviously that doesn't put us in a great position. So I'm going to be spending some time working on that tonight. I also have a nonprofit client that I do a newsletter for, and he just sent me his content because he's trying to send one out on Monday. So I need to work on that tonight as well. And I need to start preparing questions for Planner Pursuit. I'm also helping Kristen with that. And that's kind of the other thing that I have to get done um, here pretty quickly. So lots to get done. It's also, it was an exhausting day. We had a very large um, go-to-market strategy and planning meeting with our senior leadership team at work earlier today. I literally had a migraine <laughs> this afternoon. I was off on Monday. Obviously, I filmed a bunch of content, but yesterday was Tuesday and it was just like a marathon day getting back to work and there was so much to get done in preparation for that workshop, but then also catching back up. And today was no different. It was just a really long, long day. And I still, I'm so behind on things and I feel like <laughs> I'm literally don't even comprehend when I'm going to be able to catch up. So that's where we are at midweek in preparation for a while. Like I said, a week out from being in DC. The conference doesn't officially start till Thursday, but quite a bit of people I believe are getting in on Tuesday and Wednesday. Personally, I'm getting in on Wednesday to kind of give myself a little bit of a buffer of time simply because it's a very exhausting and very fast paced moving weekend for my last experience with wild but also having attended and planned a couple of conferences myself it all goes by really quickly so whatever you can do to give yourself kind of some time to kind of like ease into the socializing and attending events and things like that i, I find to be helpful plus for christian designs team we do have some things that need to get done in advance for the welcome party on Thursday evening. So quite a bit to accomplish between now and when it's time to like finish packing up. I did kind of start and you can kind of see it in the background here to a little bit piling some things onto my suitcase. I don't want to have it open right now because you can see my bedroom door is right behind me and I'm sitting here at my desk so there's not a lot of space. Uh, to kind of just have it open and be dumping things in. So 
to the extent that I can start adding stuff and creating a pile that doesn't, you know, eventually overtake me and my desk, I'm going to keep doing and working on that for the rest of this week. But probably this weekend will be when I really spend a lot of time packing up as much as possible. I'm pretty certain I have what outfits I'm planning on wearing, but I've also been monitoring the weather and it seems like the weather is kind of heading in the, it's going to be cold direction. So definitely need to keep that in mind as well. So that's where we're at Wednesday, February 22nd, a week out from being in DC. Hey everyone, it is Sunday afternoon and I am going to try to start working through what's happening here. I've got my luggage down here and I've just been like throwing stuff on top of my luggage to kind of start keeping an inventory of what I'm planning on packing. Though I've not packed, I did spend some time earlier this month kind of like strategizing and brainstorming what sort of outfits I wanted to wear. So uh, while the clothes aren't actually in the suitcase yet, I do have a general idea of what I'm planning to pack and I'm just finishing up some laundry here in order to be able to put those things in my suitcase. So I'd like to at least be able to get my clothes and a good amount of my toiletries and things into my suitcase, but I certainly probably won't be able to like finish packing entirely until late Tuesday night because there are definitely still things that I'm going to need to use between now and Tuesday evening. So this weekend I got a bunch of Chrissy and Designs tasks that I needed to get done done for Wild and one of the things that I had to get done was providing her a draft to work with for her shop summit presentation and that draft is with her now and its presentation is done so if she makes no changes to it she's got a full presentation but it's with her now to make any changes that she'd like to make and then beyond that I had to kind of help gather questions for Planner Pursuit which is going to be happening Thursday I believe afternoon and Kristen will be the host of that and we've changed the format a little bit there are entirely new questions which were really fun to collaborate with Kristen on and kind of put all of those together so I'm really really excited because all of my major Kristen designs tasks for go wild are now done and I can just kind of focus on the few things I have left to do for the board that I'm on before I go our deadline for entries for our award competition is Monday evening at 11 59 p.m. and and there's like a quality control process that I have to do tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday before I leave for wild. And then I will also be doing some stuff for $2 Tuesday for Kristen. And I'm actually planning to do two weeks of $2 Tuesdays at one time so I can have this Tuesdays ready. And then when I come back on Sunday of the end of the week, I don't have to worry about Tuesday for the following week. I can just jump right back into work and that task will be done. So we'll see how it all goes between now and Tuesday. But this is probably where I'm going to end this vlog just because there's not a whole lot more to share, but I will be vlogging throughout the conference and I'll kind of do like another recap video in this sort of style where it's a kind of like comprehensive compilation of everything that happened during the conference after the conference is over. So look for that. And if you're new here, thank you for watching. I hope you consider subscribing. If you liked it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.